Hi, it's Patty Joe. I am such an idiot. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to keep my mouth shut on this, repeat the court part, and then we'll see if we can't get this done about a half hour or so. Okay, but we'll see. I know I can't keep my mouth shut. We, I think we all know that. Hello, hello, Patty Joe with a big mouth. And here are my thoughts. On so this is the Reddit hearing with the sound. <laughs> the trial and on this subreddit. And apparently, again, it's a subreddit uh, called Justice for Daryl. Uh, all those, uh, Justice, the number four, and Daryl all. Okay, so we, we all knew I wasn't going to make it. Um, all right, so again. We all clown on Daryl. I clown on Daryl probably the most. I'm probably the worst. It's all out of my own traumatic stress. And I will have to say, this is serious stuff. Okay, this whoever did this Reddit thing, it was a joke apparently. But as we can see, there are some real consequences to our actions. So careful with your words, careful with your deeds. No spaces. Um, I then... Uh, had contact with uh, Captain Dussault, advised him that this should be investigated and basically turned over the matter to law enforcement for a so full investigation. Oh, yeah. At this point, or at that point, I made a determination based upon my review of the information that I would not stop uh, what was happening in terms of the trial with the instructions <coughs> to the jury and ultimately the closing arguments and then turning the case over to uh, the jury for deliberations and um, of course I am concerned about the integrity of these proceedings and I will take whatever action that I deem appropriate once a full investigation um, is done but at this point there is uh, no I would say credible information that this is in fact a member of the jury um, but I will leave that for law enforcement to determine. And if, of course, if need be, at the conclusion of the case, when the jury <clears throat> reaches a verdict, um, I certainly will consider whether any questioning of the jurors at that point is warranted. Um, so that's the information I wanted to provide. Again, copies of this information will be provided to the parties and there is a full investigation underway by the sheriff's department i have no further information about it at this time i will not did you see the look on his face where he's almost he's just he does not listen to learn he listens to wait till his own time to communicate he's just waiting for his chance to do his dramatic point the attention to himself thing oh my god okay moving on be the judge that will further be reviewing it in terms of any requests related to that investigation. I will simply be handling whether uh, any requests as relates to this case in particular. And I hope we have the copies for the parties. Yeah, and we'll provide those. Go ahead. Uh, I'll make sure you use Go ahead. first. <laughs> what is this? All I can tell you, sir, is that there is apparently on the internet, on a site, or maybe it's an application, I'm not entirely sure, called Reddit. There is a subreddit um, that is entitled Justice for Daryl, and it was on that subreddit that someone wrote an anonymous post claiming to be a, one of the jurors. That, of course, would be a violation of the rules that I set up for the jurors. Uh, which is why I turned over the information to law enforcement so they could make a full and complete investigation. Uh, for the record, I accept uh, for value and return for value these documents. Um, I'm, I'm confused. I... Who, cares? Who cares? At this point, sir, I'm providing the information. Um, I trust that the parties will review it, and if a party believes that any request needs to be made of this court, <coughs> then an appropriate request will be made. Um, but at this point, I'm just advising the parties of the information that I have. And I will add this. Um, I will, of course, um, it's important that the results of any investigation be turned over to the parties. I don't know how long that will take, um, but um, 
that is also my direction, that was the, really the only direction I gave to law enforcement, is that, that uh, the results of the investigation that be turned over to the parties. Was this, oh, I'm sorry. Go was, was this just found out about this morning? No, no. Um, yes, the email that was sent to the clerk of court was received at 9, 10 a.m. Um, and then that email <coughs> and the attachment, um, I'm aware of a second, I will say I'm aware of a second email that was sent to our clerk of court at 10.02 a.m. Um, <coughs> and any, I, I think there, when we stepped off the bench uh, following the case being given to the jury, I was advised that other emails had been received throughout the court system. And I simply said, obviously, that information needs to go to law enforcement. I haven't seen it, haven't reviewed it. Um, but any person who works in the clerk of court's office who has received an email will be, that email about this topic will be forwarded to the sheriff's department. Um, their forensic unit is handling the investigation, to my understanding. Attorney Upper, did you have a question or something to state? Yes, Your Honor, I just wanted to state for the record that I have also received similar emails at my office this afternoon. They were sent not to me directly, but to the district attorney's office website. And um, I only wanted to point out that in viewing the contents of the posting, well, first of all, all the emails refer to the exact same posting and the language is the exact same in all the postings. Um, in viewing the content of the posting, uh, we question the veracity of the posting because it refers to things that, quite frankly, are not true. And um, also, uh, upon reviewing it, Your Honor, we came to the conclusion that it does not exhibit any material prejudice against Daryl Brooks that may affect the veracity of any verdict that may be returned in this case. The posting is largely critical of the court and to some extent uh, the prosecution, but it, the, the nature of the posting is actually in support of Mr. Brooks. That's why it's under a subreddit called Justice for Daryl. And I don't believe there's any reasonable reading of this post that would lead someone to believe that it suggests the juror harbors substantial or material prejudice against the defendant. Thank you. I appreciate the additional record. Can I say something, Your Honor? Go ahead. Um. Just briefly skimming through it. I, I do want to stay for the record that I have no involvement with this. I'm fairly, really like shocked like this even came to light. Um, I will say. Cut your fingernails. Just by skimming through it, these are definitely things that have been talked about in the court. So we we'll have to, I mean, common sense would say that this came from someone that has either been in the court to hear what goes on in the court or a, a jury member. Is it or one of the billions of us who have been watching it on YouTube, you fool. There's no other way. Well, actually, because the, the proceedings are live streamed worldwide, Your Honor, available on YouTube worldwide, so I don't agree with that assessment. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious that this would come from somebody who's actually... I think it's pretty clear. Well, I'm leaving it in uh, the hands of law enforcement volume. to do a full and complete investigation. Again, I take the integrity of this process incredibly seriously. And if there were to be a juror who violated the rules, I would take that very seriously. And I will not hesitate to take any action that I deem appropriate. At this time, it is simply being investigated. This was an anonymous post. And 
Um, if either party believes any further action needs to take place as it relates to this particular jury, then I trust they'll file the appropriate request with the court. So with that, uh, the courtroom, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Something else, Attorney Amber? A different topic, Your Honor. Oh, sure, possible. go ahead. While we're all together, I just wanted to address exhibits and what the court's procedure would be. We have no objection to any exhibits going back to the jury room if they are asked for uh, and precluding the requirement that we all assemble every time a note comes out asking for one exhibit. Um, so as long as we're all here and we have some time, maybe we could discuss that. Well, I'm willing to discuss that. <clears throat> Do you have any position on that, sir? Yeah. Uh, I would object from the standpoint that uh, I would need to see any exhibit that's being asked, asked about and the relevancy of that exhibit being asked for. I think that's only fair. Exhibits that, are, that have been received, a relevance objection, um, would no longer be valid because the court has already ruled on the relevance and the admission of the exhibits. The issue is whether it goes back to the jury room. I'll give you a for example. Um, sometimes in a trial there are medical records that need to be filed in their complete form under the statute, but really maybe only a portion of it would go back to the jury or depending on why they were offered and whether there was any medical testimony regarding a diagnosis, for example, could impact that. Sometimes there's privacy issues with an exhibit, if there's a social security number for a witness or something like that. Uh, but generally speaking, uh, the exhibits have been received um, and uh, the jurors can ask to view photographs, written documents, they can even ask to view the videos. The videos would need to be done one of two ways, either which requires everyone to assemble because we do have the technology to play them directly to the jury room, uh, but that simultaneous with that is it would be played in here. So everyone would be seeing what's being played in the jury room at the same time, so that does require the parties to be in court uh, and that allows the jury to continue with their deliberations, talk about what they're seeing, etc. So can so, the jury see you here now? No, no, no. I'm talking about a video. We have the ability to play it directly. There's a TV. I, I should have said that. Probably not too... You, why would you know there's a TV in the jury room, right? So there's a TV monitor in the jury room that is connected to the technology in the courtroom. So whatever is playing here could be a still photograph, could be a document, could be a video, we can play in the jury room at the same time. Um, but as far as other exhibits. Um, so it would be only the exhibits that's been received. Received. So Correct. nothing new, nothing's gonna come out of the blue and be like, yo, yeah, we're gonna. Only what's been received during the trial, if it would be helpful, I can have it's Madam so Clerk give you the printout of the exhibit list that shows everything that's been received, if you would like. That's about like 7,500. <laughs> There's a lot of exhibits, but, a lot of exhibits. We, but a lot I'm going to have her print it off if you would like it. I, I think it would be helpful just in case, I'm guessing at some point that will come into play. Right. For example, they may come back and say, we'd like to see exhibit 15, which is the map, uh, the large map from of the parade route, okay? Um, they might wanna see the other map. Maybe they wanna look at a video. Um, there's a lot of exhibits, so I'm not gonna, I guess, speculate what they want. Um, sometimes they write notes to us and say we want, they literally, list out all the exhibits that they want. Other times they'll say, can we have all the exhibits? So sometimes parties do stipulate. Um, that's what the state I think was trying to get at. Um, so do you have a position on that? If, if the jury requests an exhibit, do you want the court to rule on it individually? Or do you agree that if they request an exhibit, it can be released to them? Uh, a rule on it. All right, fair enough. Anything else, Attorney Opper? 
Yes, we had discussed uh, yesterday, and I'm not trying to get too far ahead of myself here, but um, what was the time limit that the court wanted to uh, work off of for uh, giving notice to the parties when the verdict is available? 30 to 60 minutes. Okay. Thank you. Some of that will depend on when it is, if it's yep. late in the evening versus during the day. Um, and you might be wondering how late will I let Oh, this happened before. You know, when you were watching it with no sound. I don't know what happened. I think we're, yeah, we're oh, done for we the evening. They'll come back in. I'll read them the instruction about uh, they obviously can't deliberate when they're not here, so I'll read through that instruction to them that you can't deliberate. Um, and they would go, again, where they are being sequestered, and then we would reassemble tomorrow morning if that's what is needed. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else from you, sir? Um, yeah. Um, did you talk to the jail, the deputies? Or I did. You Thank you for that reminder. Um, the jail has asked that I follow the standard operating procedure, which is to have you in central holding and not up at your cell. But if need be, I'm willing to <coughs> order that they give you a shower later. Um, <coughs> if that's helpful, whether it be tonight or tomorrow morning, okay? So even though you're gonna stay close by, um, I'll make sure, I'll work with the jail to make sure that you're given that opportunity um, after we're done for the night, okay? Yeah, at least let them let me take a shower. So I've uh, been told have there to. is a question that will be coming out shortly, so oh. don't go anywhere. <laughs> don't choke me, Judge. What? Oh, God. I said don't choke me. Choke you? Yeah, because I'm, you know what I'm about to say. What are you about to say? Subject matter jurisdiction. <laughs> you knew I was about to say that. Sir, I'm not going to address it. I already have. All right. There are requests for three exhibit. Um, is that his number? I know he signed up, but I do. He's cold. I meant to tell him that. It's a signature. I need to know the. Uh, number to tell the parties who the fourth person is because I'm not going to say the name on the record. Um, they have a request for three exhibits 15, 5, and 55. Uh, number 11 is the fourth person. You said 15, 5, and 55. So I can pull. I was going to say, I don't know. I know 15. 15 is the map. 15 is the map, yeah. Any objection to the map, sir? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, want, I want you to rule on everything. Well, I was going to go one by one. So I'll start um, with exhibit 15, which is the map. What's your position on that, sir? <coughs> um, my position is... Um, At this point, what is the relevancy of the map? I think it's been seen a million times. I know it by heart now. That's probably the only one I know by heart. Well, um, what's the state's position? Yes, we absolutely. There's no reason not to send that back there, Your Honor. There are 76 counts that they need to work through and to assist them in identifying which victim is which and which group they were with and where they were on the road. Absolutely, there's no reason to hide that from them. It's helpful to them in their deliberation. All right, I will uh, send Exhibit 15 back uh -uh. to the jury room. It is an exhibit, and there really is no reason not to send it back that has been identified by the parties. All right, the next exhibit uh -uh. is Exhibit 5. That is the photograph of Eric <coughs> Patterson. Oh, I definitely object to that. Um, seeing as how uh, it was supposedly two incidents, one one of which didn't even happen, <clears throat> which uh, the prosecution I hate it when he says that. sent paperwork to acknowledge that it never happened. It did so happen. I don't even. Uh, this can't be proven. 
it's too dicey with that. Dicey. What, what incident dicey. Would, would five be referring to? Seventy-six. One of which the never happened, count. and then one. I don't even know what I'm looking at if I look at five. So. What's the state's position on five? Again, Judge, there's no legal basis to exclude that from the jury. There's nothing prejudicial. It's a single photograph. I should say overly prejudicial. It's a single photograph of a single person showing the injuries that are alleged to be associated with count 77. It's directly relevant to their deliberations. There is no count 77. Count 76. 76. You are correct. It is count 76, not 77. See why I'm confused? No. Well, there is an amended information, and I clearly instruct the jury in 76 counts. Be that as it may, um, I'll find that uh, it is proper for Exhibit 5 to go back to the jury, and that will be sent to them. Now, Exhibit 55 is a video. How long is that video? Fifteen seconds. So my uh, inclination, and I'll hear from the parties first, but and then I'll give you my inclination. So, any objection to playing for the jury Exhibit Fifty Five? What exactly is in the Exhibit Fifty Five? I don't. I don't. It's a video from Curry Insurance facing eastbound, showing the grannies being struck. We could put it up if you want to preview it, Your Honor. Go ahead. And we are requesting that it be viewed by the jury in their deliberation room. What I can tell you, if I do allow it, since I would have to ver we'll verify that the technology is working, um, and then I would play it for them twice through. And we would watch it at the same time as they're viewing it. Theirs is just me in the jury room. But I'll preview it for Mr. Brooks so he can see it first. Well, the state will preview it for me. Why twice? Why twice? Well, dumb dog. <coughs> All right, your response, sir. Um. Yeah, I don't. I object to it. Uh, trying to keep this in order. I guess my objection would be. Uh, Will be hard. It would be hard to say why the jury will will uh, request it. Hard to say. I don't know. I'll just let you rule on it. I, I don't particularly. so many videos that's kind of like the same video anyway. Well, Exhibit 55 was received by the court. It's relevant to the uh, charges in this case, and I will show it to the jury. I will uh, work with uh, Teresa and then the jury bailiff uh, to ensure that the technology is working when it's up and running. Um, I will play that for them uh, twice through. This is what I have proposed to write on the note back to the jury as it relates to all three. Exhibits 15 and 5 are attached. Exhibit 55 will be played for the jury two times, hyphen the clip is 15 seconds. Um, and then I will initial that and date it. Any reason why it would need to be played twice? Um, and I just would note that the jury four person wrote yesterday's date. Um, it is the 25th. My date will be indicated. Obviously, they didn't get the case until today, so it's just a Scrivener's error on their part, putting the 24th versus the 25th. 
they don't have their technology with them, so I can't really fault them for that. All right. Any Madam reason Clark, why you could, to be played twice? Um, that's my practice, at least on short video clips. Um, so what about what, what about if they request for a long video? Then I'll make a determination then. I find that since we have the new technology, it's easier just to do that and play it twice than to bring them out and for them to say stop and then can you go back and can we watch it again because that's my experience. So I'm really trying to avoid that. So we'll stay out here um, and then we'll work to, uh, they'll have to pause there. Um, deliberations so we can interrupt them and give them the exhibits and then uh, make sure the technology is working. So if the state wants to have that ready to go. I set for value and return for value these documents, Your Honor. Thank you. You have, um, you know how to do that, right? We've done that before. It's one button. audio with this or is it just video? Just video. Okay, thank you. Play it one more time. Hi, it's Zoe Perry from Young You can turn it off and is it off? All right, the video was played twice. We'll wait and see if they have any other questions. Uh, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Uh, about this uh, Reddit, is that how you say it, Reddit? That's my understanding. Um, this particular person is who the email was sent from, the person at the top of the page? 
Do you have the email that has the 9, 10 a.m.? That's my understanding, yes. It, were they identified to have any connection with the trial in any way? I'm leaving the entire investigation in the hands of the Sheriff's Department. I'm not, I can't answer that. I'm sure they're looking into it though, because that's a good question. step off obviously the courtroom remains open and we'll let you know if there are any additional questions subject matter jurisdiction your honor I decline will to we, address that sir. will we be addressing it for the record he's so disrespectful all right <coughs> mm -mm -mm. it's a lot quicker when I keep my mouth shut isn't it Question through the bailiff. We request exhibits three and four. Exhibits three and four are videos. They are the videos from White Rock, I believe, elementary school, door one and door two. Yes, correct. How long are each? Exhibit three is four minutes and 14 seconds. And exhibit four six minutes is, is six minutes and 58 seconds. Seven minutes. Okay. My inclination would be to play each one one time since they're a little bit longer and play them one after the other. From the state? Agreed. From the defense? Objection. Noted for the record. Any specific reason, sir? No, just they look, make them look bad. Uh, my breakfast. The uh, significance of both videos. They're evidence, sir? Yeah, they're evidence. And the jury's requested to look at them. So I will be playing them for them. <laughs> we'll do exhibit three first, and then exhibit four I'm shortly shot thereafter. Down out of hand. Will you be addressing subject matter jurisdiction on the record? Um, no, I will not. Is that a judicial determination, Your Honor? Can you see what's starting at three? I can't. Oh, you're not asking me. <laughs> Is that a tacit agreement, Your Honor? All right, they are ready. The arrow in the middle of it. Oh, we can get rid of that clear annotation. Is that a tacit agreement, Your Honor? Uh -oh. Go ahead and play Exhibit 3 in its entirety.
can stop that one. But they're asking it to be stopped. Any objection from the state? No. no. From the defense? No. Okay. Right. Switch to exhibit four. That's not me this time. That's that. There's Erica behind the sign. It's yelling at her. He's yelling at her. We all know what you're doing. She walks away. Is such trash. They're finished with that one. Any objection to stopping that video? No. All right, Mr. Brooks. No. All right, it'll be stopped. Uh, Judge, for the record, this one was stopped at 1.38. Do you know what time we stopped it on Exhibit 3? 35 seconds, I think. Thank, Thank you. you. Sure. Thank you, Madam Clerk. I think you might want to stay close by. Was that a good way to reach the state? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure yeah. we did, but it was. Okay, and what I learned from the next one is that she just reads instructions to them so they don't finish that night. Okay, I am so sorry. Patty Joe. I, I am obviously don't have my stuff together. So thank you for being patient with me. I will put this one up right away. Thanks. Bye-bye. Let's do it.